Welcome back to A Better Life. I'm your host, Hank Hennigan. In this segment of our show, I'm proud to introduce a dear friend of mine, Mr. Julio Malara. Hey, Hank. Good to see you, buddy. Yes. Uh, good people. I've been knowing Julio a good uh, many years now, and I call him the doctor of success. <laughs> <laughs> He's successful in everything he does, from uh, a beautiful family, running a business, and uh, uh, Julio is the uh, publisher and CEO of the Baton Rouge Business Report. 225 Magazine and the, the Daily Report, AM and PM. Is that right. correct? That's right. That's <laughs> right. And a host of other ones, too, but uh, those are uh, some of the primary ones. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right, Julio, publishing. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on in the publishing world. In well, uh, as you know, most of everything we do uh, uh, in our shop is, is all local, local, local. Yes. So, uh, you know, we consider the business report to be the Wall Street Journal of Baton Rouge. If you're in business, we try and give you all the breaking news every single day through Daily Report, AM and PM. And something that the audience may not be aware of, we were the first business journal in America from right here in Little Baton Rouge Come on. to launch an e-newsletter in 1998. The uh, Daily Report? The Daily Report, yeah. Wow. And Listen, yeah. I, wouldn't, I don't miss, good people, I don't miss getting my email from the Daily Report in the morning and in the evening, and they can really tell you what's going on in the business community exactly that day. So get yeah. it. And in 2005, uh, we launched our sister publication, 225 Magazine. And one of the essence and missions of 225 is to help local people that live and work and do life in this community to yes. discover more about the people, about the treasures, <clears> about... Uh, the places to go right here in our own backyard, and it's really evolved uh, where uh, uh, the food scene, the culinary scene yes. in Baton Rouge has really evolved. Yes. You know, we've had over 4,000 seats, new seats over the last seven years evolved into Baton Rouge, and so uh, we now, uh, as a matter of fact, four years ago, we launched 225 Dine, a weekly e-newsletter, so much so that this year, the first week of January, we're launching a second edition. So every Tuesday and Thursday, wow. if you subscribe, which is free, yes. if you'd like to subscribe and find out what's going on in the restaurant scene, new restaurants to go visit, uh, new chefs coming into town, um, what, what, what expansions are taking place, it's a great opportunity That's the to, 225 to stand the Yeah, 225-DINE. Yep. Um, I, people, <laughs> I call it Julio Docs of Success. And uh, Julio is a motivational speaker. He says, no, I'm not a motivational speaker. He says, I'm a speaker that's motivated. Is that correct? That's right. That's <laughs> right. Big difference. Come on. What is the two or three habits that people must work on uh, to, to be successful in life or, or business or whatever? Julio? Well, and as you all know, there's several, you know, different ingredients. But I would probably say uh, right at the top, one is that you got to believe. I think we're living in a world right now where a lot of people get arrows of doubt and discouragement and unbelief. And and the first step is you got to believe, right? And right. and and uh, you know, for most people in business, you got to believe in in the product or service that you deliver. You got to believe in the organization that you work for. But the one that I find impedes a lot of people is you got to believe in yourself. Yes. Right? You got to believe. Uh, I I think that's a good starting point. I think the second thing is mindset. You know. Um, you got to have the right attitude. Somebody once said that attitude is everything, and I always correct them. I go, nope, attitude is not everything because you can be very positive, but if you're incompetent, I'm going to fire you. Come right? on. <laughs> but attitude is the most important thing that we bring to life into our yes. community every single day. And, you know, here's the cool thing about an attitude is having a positive attitude is something that we can all develop. Right, a smile on so, your so, face, a quick in your step. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's and it's something you got to work on daily. Yes, you know, um, there's a scripture that says, "Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind." And what I believe. He was saying, paraphrases, don't let the junk and the negativity of the world latch onto your mind, but constantly reprogram your mind. Feed your mind the right information. Feed your mind the right education. Because whatever goes in is what goes out. So I believe you got to work on your belief system. You got to work on your attitude. And the, and the third one, Hank, I would say is uh, focus. Yes. We're living in times where people's focus is, is fragmented. Uh, people have a lot of clutter. They're hearing a lot of voices, and you've got to get rid of all of that clutter. You have to have the ability to focus. Yes. Decide what's important, make it a priority, and have the ability to focus, focus, focus. And the reason why, Hank, is that focus empowers you. Focus yes. gives you energy. Eventually, what you focus on, you'll master. 
So it doesn't matter if it's athletics, if it's ministry, if it's business, if it's academia, whatever it is that you want to succeed in, you've got to have the ability to focus. And I know you know the acronym for focus is what? Follow one course until successful. That's right. Follow one course until successful. And Julio has done that. Okay. Uh, we all have morning rituals. Uh, tell us what you do the first 60 minutes of your day, Julio. Oh, man. First of all, I'm an early riser. I love the mornings. I love <laughs> yes. the mornings. Quiet time. Uh, yeah. I get up first thing in the morning. And um, first of all, I'm gratitude. I'm very, very thankful. Yes. Um, I read. Uh, I read my Bible. <clears throat> uh, I read books. Uh, then I have a little cup of coffee. Come then on. I have a little cup of coffee. And three times a week, I'll go to the gym and exercise. Uh, you know, the rest of the time, I'll shoot emails first thing in the morning and, and kind of prepare. Uh, and then have my little time of prayer. Yeah. And, and then I roll, ready to climb mountains and get, slay giants. I got your to do list for the day. That's exactly right. Yeah, I got my to do list, and I'm old fashioned. I write it down and, and scratch them off every day and, and then create another to do list. Well, yeah. you know, habits are so important. You know, habits will take you further than desire. A lot of people desire to do things or accomplish things and achieve things. But the truth of the matter is that you've got to develop positive habits. And I believe it starts early in the morning. As yeah. a matter of fact, there's a lot of research out there, I think, that says the two times of the day that your mind is most open to ideas, it's creative juices are working at optimal levels are early in the morning or late in the evening. Yes. And so you've got to decide, you got to know you, your what type of body uh, uh, yeah. uh, clock you have, but make sure that uh, you give your priorities a focus so that you're developing those positive habits. Julio, before we close here, Tell us real quick what a 25-year-old should, should, should do uh, and advice you'd give a 25-year-old in this day's world. Wow, if I was 25 years old again, what advice? Uh, well, I'd probably start off with two things. One, I would say learn to be patient. Yeah. Learn to be patient. We live in a world that wants everything instant and wants it yesterday, right? But I think being patient because uh, of the second thing. If I had to do it over again, I would have done a better job programming my life, programming yes. my career for long term, yes. long term, right? This is not a sprint, right? It's a marathon. And so developing endurance, which develops character, really helps. Okay, good people. You've been watching Mr. Julio Malara of the Business Report and 225 Magazine and the Daily Report. I'm so honored that he's been with us. So uh, go to their publications, uh, the website, and uh, listen, uh, this man is motivated to do the right thing. And uh, so, yeah, go to Julio Millard and uh, God bless you and thank you for watching A Better Life. Thank you.